guys, welcome back to the channel. Creator Sim, it's your hostess with the mostest. I hope everyone is having an enchanting day. Here we are on part three of our witch's cottage. Uh, we are downstairs again. I kind of stepped away from the build and thought about adding some more things, which is actually why I was inspired to do this build in the breakdown that I do, because I know that I am an or unorganized builder and when I'm lacking inspiration, I kind of tend to jump around. So like, ugh, I'm just, I can't figure out what to put in this spot or this corner or what to do with this room or floor plan at this time. So I, I normally bounce all over the place from landscaping and whatnot. So doing it this way kind of streamlined me a little bit. So here we are laying out the floor plan for the upstairs. And then I'm going to go in and start furnishing what I think to be like the, um, the child spellcaster's room or young girl, teen girl. I didn't really add a lot of child stuff to this build. That is my one regret. There's not much for a kid to do in this lot. But I really wanted to stay in mind with like just like the witchy theme. So I used a lot of traditional furniture in this build, I feel. Um, I think I use the most Realm of Magic like furniture in this room specifically, well, and upstairs too. Um, okay, so I had the idea to sort of do like a cute little witchy vanity here. And then as it kind of started evolving, you couldn't even hardly see the mirror and it sort of just turned into like a little shrine or spell casting area, but I like it. I think it came out pretty well and there should be um, I don't believe I filled in most of the slots. I think I just move object most of the items into that little corner. So even though I do clutter up this desk quite a bit, the Sim should be able to do her homework or read or sit or do whatever at the desk. Okay, so here I am using these funky little lamps here, which I don't think I used anywhere else in this build. There's a lot of the Rebel Magic stuff that I just don't think fits in with the idea I had in mind. Now I understand it is very Art Deco and I do like that style, but I don't know why. I don't really necessarily correlate it with Realm of Magic, even though like the most famous Art Deco house that I know of um, that I've seen in like uh, media and, and things like that is the Casper house. Do you guys remember that movie? I love Casper. Anyways, so that's a very Art Deco house in my opinion. And yeah, it was super creepy and witchy and I suppose it could have pulled off. I just don't think The Sims has a lot of other items that will make it feel that way. I don't know. Okay, so I'm obsessed with all these little crystals and I love how they glow. So I kind of figured that I would make this landing area into another witchy workshop area. So I go ahead and I add a cauldron up there and cluttered up. You guys will see that in a second here. I'm still doing my bouncing around thing where I'm not really sure what to do with each room. So yeah, and I adore this fireplace. This is one thing I love with the Realm of Magic and this absolutely Art Deco style all the way. And I like doing this with the orbs, but I always forget though when the Sim turns the fireplace on, the fire is blue and you can't actually see the different colors that pop up in there, but I still seem to always do that. And then I really wanted the fireplace look to, or to look like it was growing crystals. I don't know why. And it's so funny. I, I was listening or watching like the part one and part two of this build. I'm like, yeah, they're kind of modern witches, you know? And then here I am like making this ridiculous room. Um, yeah, with crystals growing out of the fireplace. So this is my second time doing the voiceover. Uh, my cat, Sydney, really wants to be involved today. So he just kept like hitting my mic on accident and stuff the first time around. So um, he is still close. He is on my lap and pawing at me for attention. So um, yeah, apologies if he like messes with the audio. He's a pretty quiet good boy though. Anyways, so I love how this room transforms. Um, kind of a waste of like surface area there with that table by the window. But I don't know, I felt like the crystals had to look like they were sitting on something. And then I really do love this little light. I just wish the crystal itself like enlarged because I think it looks really cool and it's a really pretty light source, but I do like shrinking it down so the ring is like hardly noticeable. And this flag here is from the Journey to Pet the Two um, Star Wars stuff pack, which I think we got such cool stuff with. I actually just finished Bree Simulated's uh, Star Wars Let's Play today and it was so good. So go ahead and check that out if you like Let's Play. I'll go ahead and card that actually. So let me make a note too. So go ahead and check out her channel. Watch her uh, Journey to Put 2 Let's Play. It's a lot of fun. And uh, she just finished this like segment of her series, but she's going to keep going, she thinks. So I hope she does because um, I really liked it. I loved her commentary too. So yeah. Okay. And I really wasn't sure what to do with a rug in this spot because the floor plan was really weird. And unless I used multiple rugs and sized them down, it just wasn't going to work. 
So I went ahead and just took like the rug decal thing from I believe Get Famous and I don't know I think it adds some character to the floor. I thought about adding tile but I don't I don't know. I thought it just interfered with things. Okay so this is going to be the mother's bedroom and this was or the daughter of the older male spellcaster. The mom of the kids room. So as I said in my last episode like dad lives with his daughter and granddaughter dad's room is downstairs and then mom and daughter are up here so this is mom's room and i've been doing this thing lately with the columns around the bed and i don't know why i really liked it it didn't really work um super great in this situation just because of the size of the room but i don't mind that the columns don't like line up with the corner of the bed too much and this room was a little difficult so at first when i built this tower above this room i just thought about having a really really tall ceiling and like lots of light coming in from above but then i decided to do like a little attic space so i'm going to go ahead and throw in a ladder here soon to get us upstairs into that room oh my gosh and this is this trick i saw recently oh i love it so i'm going to be doing that a lot in my builds i feel the frame around the mirror i had no idea oh gosh i'm gonna have to double check to see whose build i just watched because the name is escaping me but it was a, like a, the the netflix show lucifer it was lucifer's like nightclub and i've only seen like three episodes of the show it's something i'm like slowly starting to watch um so i'm not familiar with it but i'm gonna go ahead and look that up too and card that here as well because that was a really good build and they totally used that so yeah okay i'm back i had to take a quick break to double check um the the mirror and painting thing because i felt like i named the wrong sin but no i am right it was lucifer's build by submersed and they go ahead and use that technique in there and it is so cool okay so go ahead and check out that channel that build in and of itself is amazing but that's where i got the mirror trick from they said that they found it from or they saw it from someone else originally too and couldn't remember um and i just wanted to, to name them though because that's where i found it from like i had no idea you could do that up until then so okay so here is this like stairs out of the area and i have no idea why i used that um greenery fence inside i know it doesn't fit but who cares i don't care i don't know i like it it was that or just my stereo like my go-to like white not white um just glass fence which i think would have looked okay but i don't know why i really enjoyed that it was kind of tedious to try and do like uh, screen captures with like the tour but okay so none of the sims have babies and there's no room for um well i didn't leave any room for a toddler's room or any i mean i suppose you could add a toddler's bed to like the young girl's room and it could fit okay but anyway so i added this like it's almost creepy like this bassinet up here that's all um like crystalled out and it's got you know the fancy like ritual rug under it so i don't know maybe like they're sacrificing their firstborn kid or something i don't know weird right or maybe it's just some sort of like shrine because at heart this is still an attic and like i do go ahead and i add um the seasons um decoration box up here only really because i kind of wanted to try and add like cool lighting like uh, holiday lighting to the exterior i took a couple screen screenshots and i don't know it looked okay and it looked cool it just was a little bit too i don't know i think i still think it looked christmassy and not as like cute and cottagey as i was hoping for okay and i don't know why i go crazy with adding these mounted fish i just i don't know i think it looks kind of cool and witchy and you know witches do use a lot of natural you know ingredients so i don't know maybe like a recipe calls for you know some electric eel scales i don't know i had fun with this though because i like i said i really love like the witches stuff when i was a kid i really wanted to practice what i thought was magic i know it sounds so silly but i feel like a lot of girls go through like a witch phase you know i don't know let me know if you guys went through a witch phase or like still practice that kind of stuff I'm not super, I'm not religious by any means. I do think that I am spiritual in the sense of like taking care of mind and body and just whatever you put out into the universe, you know, I do knock on wood, but I think that's just like the Russian, like, uh, superstitious stuff my family has held on to. I don't know. Okay. So loving all these crystals from the get to work pack and I'm adding a bunch of those I'm adding some more decor to mom's room. I feel like mom didn't get as much decor as she needed. And again, this is why 
my builds have been so well i feel that they're super unorganized is because i jump from like oh you know what this looks great there you know what else like what other room this would look good in so again i gotta i gotta walk away to get inspired so here we're back down in the young girl's room i figured she needed some like potiony things and i think that those like perfume and like cologne bathroom bottles and stuff actually look really good and so even do the nail polish bottles i use those occasionally as well and i like shrinking down those um I think they came from, oh no, I can't remember exactly. Those paintings though that I'm kind of adding as like sitting pictures on the shelf. They come in, um, I think they show up in the catalog as just like blank, but there's two other swatches. Um, and one I have down on the floor on the other side and then one there. And I kind of added like some posters because I thought like maybe, you know, this is a young girl's room. And even though they, like, they're a witch, they still like, I don't know like or have idols and things like that so you can see that the bamboo painting there but i do go in and I, I swap that out and of course i'm giving her like a little mini cauldron on her shelf because she's got this little like witchy area which i really like how it turned out i give her this little table too which actually like slides perfectly i don't think it like slides fleshly under the desk but i like that it was just like i don't know a step lower if i'm making any sense Anyways, I figured she needed some like greenery in her room. So we give her a plant, a couple plants. And then finally I give her a desk. And I'm like, you know what, let's go ahead and change the color scheme of the desk and chair. Cause I like that, uh, that chair swatch better. I think I give her an easel. I don't know, I try and remember that there weren't a lot of activities. Oh, and of course every girl goes through like um, a string of lights phase. I know I did. So, for example, my mom used to, like, do purple and orange Halloween lights around Halloween. And for whatever reason, like, the next year, the purple lights would not really look purple. They would look pink. So, I remember I had a bunch of, like, pink and white lights hung up in my, my room as a teenager. And literally, like, one wall was completely, like, collaged of, like, magazine cutouts. I was really into the Urban Outfitters magazines. And I don't know if you've ever looked at their catalogs or have been mailed their catalogs. Um... But their catalogs are like, their actual photography, it's not like, you know, your stereotypical like JC Penny or like Macy's catalogs where the models are like posing and they're actual like, like pictures. Like they look really good. Like they're, I don't know how to explain it. Find yourself an Urban Outfitters uh, catalog if you can. So yeah, I cluttered up her room a bit and we're back upstairs in the attic and I really wanted to add something underneath the fireplace. And I thought the flooring was, I don't know, I struggled. I just wanted to give it some sort of difference um and i wasn't really sure what color floor to go if i should go lighter or darker but because i felt the walls were kind of lighter we should stay with the darker so i ended up going in with the vampire flooring and just like every other square changing to position and it gives this kind of like diamond shape and here we are back in the kids room with the posters and i found those actually both um when i was working on the downstairs area and i kept them in mind too and it took me a while to find them which is why I didn't add them prior but I felt like those posters look super like cutesy and mystical so I thought they'd be perfect for a kids room and then I found get rid of that skeleton that I said looked a little too cartoonish like it was cute but I don't know it probably would have fit better in the the child's room and then here I am again like rearranging the living room as I mentioned like I wasn't really pleased with like the overall like layout and then I told you guys too that I thought that the fireplace area looked naky and I didn't know what to put there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, hopefully the fireplace doesn't catch any bug options on fire. So I found those like little brick pillars and I add those there. And I'm actually really happy with what I do to the fireplace on top of that. I go ahead and I add like brick flooring around it too. And so yeah, we're doing this right now. And I don't know why, I think it looks so good. And I know that this little walk path is really, really short, but or really like snug I just think it works out really well and then I don't know why I didn't like the the difference in color on the desk or between the desk and the bookcases and I know that the pedestal is not even close to the same like swatchy beige either but I don't know I thought it looked a little bit weirder and then I go ahead and switch out one of the armchairs as well like maybe this was mom's armchair I was kind of like thinking back to up you know like how he's got his his armchair and then his, you know, his past wife's armchair is just all like there and lonesome, but you know, it's special. So I don't know. I thought maybe the one with the doily on the back was the wife's, even though fun fact, the reason like older people put doilies on the back of their chair is because men used to like 
grease their hair back in the day, like greasers. So like every time a man would like rest his head on like the back of furniture, it would ruin the furniture. So that's why in like older movies and stuff, there's always doilies on the back of the furniture. I don't know if you knew that, but I don't even know where I knew that. And I don't know why, okay, so I mentioned too in the last video that I thought about doing like a little shed thing because I didn't want to cram pack the greenhouse with a bunch of gardening stuff. Like I know it's a greenhouse, but I really wanted it to stay a witchy workshop. So I go ahead and I build this like shed here and it is pretty fancy window wise for a shed, you know, but I don't know, I like how this turns out. I just go ahead and add some more ivy and kind of make it blend a little bit more. And I go ahead and I add the flower arranging table and the woodworking table in here as well as the the wall decor um like shovel and i don't think there's a shovel on it but it's like a rake no no, no garden supplies and you got a hose and all that we'll have it up in a second okay so there is a shovel on it but this room was super weird too and i was worried about them like not working or just i was annoyed with how close the work table was to the door so I don't know. I'm not the most pleased with this room and I think honestly it could have looked cuter with maybe a darker wallpaper but I knew that it was such a small and enclosed space. I didn't want it to look claustrophobic. I don't know. If you guys download this though, um, I'm actually going to have this on the gallery today after I'm done voiceovering this video. So it's October 11th, um, 10 a.m. where I am at. So yeah, this should be on the gallery in a couple hours for you guys. Not even that, like 20 minutes as soon as I'm done with this. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, keep an eye out for that. I, of course, am going to link that for you. And um, I am going to, I told you guys I was going to send you some teaser pictures. So I really love these blue flowers, um, but like halfway through landscaping, I realized they came in a darker leaf swatch versus the other one was more like a, a yellowy green, which I wasn't a big fan of. So I go ahead and I replace that and I decide, so that purple flower I've just been calling Jasmine. I don't even know if it is. Um, but I go ahead and add the other swatches it comes in because I feel like it just added more color. And then I really wanted the like the little plot area where maybe mom's buried and some other ancestors to look a little bit more like um, secluded, which I didn't do the best job, but I didn't want to add a lot of trees either. I do love lots of trees in The Sims, but I hate how like they can like block out the sun from certain areas. So I really wanted to avoid that. So I just go ahead and add a bunch more flowers and just kind of enclose it. And then of course that little bench there, which was from, I can't remember like the actual name of the stuff pack. It was like Romantic Garden or something. Anyways, all the decor like makes your Sims flirty. Oh, and then I added this fountain on top of the flowery fountain too. Because even though it's just flowers, I wanted there to be an actual fountain there. So it does work. Super cute. Now this garden area is going to change a little bit. I'm actually not the most pleased with the way this came out. Now, <clears throat> if I was going to give myself a little bit more time on this build, I'd probably sit there and hem and haw and do something differently there. But I knew that I was kind of past like my allotted time I give myself between videos. So I really want to see what you guys do if you download it and do anything with that section. And of course we got to add the pathway, which again, I told you guys to in the beginning, like this was going to evolve. Oh, okay. I love what I did here. So I'm obsessed with these orbs in this build. As you guys have seen, I've used them everywhere. And I thought, well, what the heck? Why can't they come out of the fireplace? So this was a pain in the butt to do. You'll see I clip out like a couple seconds here and there just because I'm trying to like get it to line up and look sort of relevant or sort of like in the general vicinity of the fireplace. I just wish they were animated so much. I I know I said it in um, with the cauldron, but I wonder if I like shrink down a couple of potions and, and like into the orb, if you'd still be able to see them. I just, I don't know, I wish those were animated because like when the smoke comes out of the chimney, it's so cute, but the orbs just like stay in place. Now I was a little apprehensive about adding the orbs here because again in the beginning I was like no this is going to be like a normal-ish cottage but I was just having so much fun with the realm of magic stuff and just really making it look enchanting that I had to go in and I added the orbs and of course I'm doing last minute you know landscaping and I I thought that little um, outdoor retreat fence looked really cute here to kind of like separate this area and again I, I just said I wasn't the most pleased with it but I realized too last minute I had not put a trash can in the kitchen nor an outdoor trash can and again washer and dryer so I was like you know what? okay they're old-fashioned they're gonna they're gonna dry their clothes outside and so I like that little basket of like I don't know I call it pulpery but it's just flowers and like pine cones and stuff but essentially that's what you make pulpery with so I thought maybe they use that to kind of like add to their 
to their clothes and then maybe they like sit by the pond and have lunch even though their house is right there i don't know and then i do this odd thing too um i go in with a bunch of the candles from seasons and i add them around the, the pond i don't know why maybe just to give it a little bit more um character okay you guys can see there i didn't use the, like the the garden bedlam terrain paint over the stone too much in this area because i wanted to imagine that maybe it was a cleaner path because they did do their laundry out here and this was kind of like an outdoor like living space although i don't know if i added any seating out there now that i'm thinking okay so here's what i mean with the candles but i don't know i think it kind of makes the pond look a little bit more magical and of course after the fact i do go in and i add the bubbler or the vent to the bottom of the pool so it does bubble in like um like not foam but like fog i guess steam it steams up a little bit and again i wasn't really sure what to do with the i, I am glad that i assembled across these wall lights so they look far better so i go ahead and add those and then i wasn't sure what to do with just like general lighting around the place as it was so i go ahead and i add like standing street lights or you know what i would call street lights out there and I don't know if they really fit with the build too well, but I think they came out nice. And then this is me just trying to make the, the shed area look a little cuter. So I go ahead and I raise these plants up to make them look like they are sitting on the step of the shed. And I think it comes out. Okay, so these are what I'm talking about, the street lights. I don't really know if they fit, but I thought these sims were, I don't know, gardeners. And I, I thought, like, well, anyways, so we're done. <laughs> with the speed build guys go ahead and enjoy some of these captures and snippets thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble for 20 minutes i'm so glad for each and every one of you guys um let's just go ahead and mark it for nostalgic purposes um today october 11th i have 120 subscribers and it is just phenomenal to think of you guys sitting in one room together like that's so many of you i know like i'm still a small time youtuber but it just it's really awesome guys and i love your support so if you're new, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you're one of my old or, you know, original subscribers, I'm so happy for you guys' continuous support. I hope you like part three. Thank you so much for watching this little series. I hope you have a great day, guys. Bye.